when it's when it's a pull shot again weight forward weight forward up and back and then when i am hitting it i want to try and extend my arms or if i'm swiveling make sure that my body swivels with it and use the pace of the ball but if i'm trying to hit it hard i want full extension of the hands if i'm not trying to hit it too hard i don't worry about that but i worry about getting of getting my hands high enough to be able to come down on the ball, hit it a little bit more flat, extend my arms and let it, let my wrists close. But the swiveling of my body is really key for me to get the placement right. Because if I'm trying to hit it over mid wicket or square, I wouldn't swivel as much. But if I want to guide it into gaps on, on, on the leg side behind square or more square, I would swivel. Kumar, are you, are you right handed? Yes, chucks the ball. You, yes, one. you're right hand. So, so when you when you hit that pull shot, as Nota said, that how important the body is because somebody like Andrew Strauss as a left hander would be as, as a left hander was left handed. Yeah, yeah. Naturally, strong strong hand is left handed, so he was able to, to use a lot more force with that back hand to hit the pull shot. Whereas Kumar and I are both right handed, so for us, it, particularly with bowlers over the wicket, you've kind of got to you've got to use your body in order to get that power, that real sort of the snap through the ball because your your strong hand is not the hand that's doing the work on this on this particular occasion. Yeah, and also if you're not really setting up for a bouncer because when it's a short ball plan in England, you mix it up with well more less now under Stokes, but you mix, mix it up with balls pitched up. So you want to be in a really good side on position, not really open up too much. Mm. So that swivel also gets you that snap and the hips like a uh, almost like a boxer, just your, your, your back hip uh, rotating and your and, and your hips just snapping back into the ball also gets you that power that you need. Talk to me about line. So if you get any starts, yep. if the line is sort of there, where are you hitting that in well, front? I I will try and hit it, hit it in front. So but the basic the premise, the more it goes that way, the more it's going to go behind. The more it's going to go behind. And also, the other thing is you've got to be a little bit careful but not premeditating your pull, thinking, oh, this is short, I'm going to pull it. That's when you try and pull things that are way too wide or climbing too high on you, and that's when you get into trouble. But a lot of the time, you get much better, firmer, harder contact when it's actually offside of your body, because that's when you can really get your hands in, whereas the closer it is and it's cramping you up a little more, that's when you try and guide it or actually try and hook it and, and use the pace of the ball to do most of the damage. Will you hit a few for us and just talk so you do it? Yeah, sure. can I borrow you again? <laughs> You're doing great here. Oh. So this is for the pull? Yeah. Do you want to go a bit closer? Go a bit closer, because... Do you want to do a bit closer pull. or there? Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We Played. Ooh, well, one second until I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not as, I'm not as quick as I used Don't to be. rush the great man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. oh! I did get hit. Roll again. Hang up. Did you have an early light? Oh, Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Picking length is so important with this. So isn't it? important. Just hey. that's the one. There's the hip. So you've almost, I mean, you've almost just pivoted on your left foot there. Yes. That's basically what's happened. This is this is your anchor, and you try and get up on it and pivot on it, but the snap has to be there to get it get it square and get enough impact or contact on it to actually have power behind the ball. We're just going to show a replay. They look pretty good up there, Butch. I can't see the monitor. What no, are you seeing? That's, yeah, that's pretty perfect. And, and in the end, you know, the body shape, he, he hits... When he makes contact with the ball, it's just inside, just inside the sort of his, his left shoulder. And then after he's made contact with it, he ends up offside of the, offside of the ball. Yeah. Uh, the fascinating thing I, I thought was also the first two. I mean, obviously, you were going to... We were trying to demonstrate the pull shot. But your instincts, your training of the brain took over to say, right, there's something not right about that. I need to get out of the way, not take it on. Yeah, but that's, that's where you get into, into good positions. Now, when I did get hit, and that was when I'd actually told myself, oh, you're just going to pull this ball because that's what I'm set up to do. Right. And then you're like, oh, and then you, then you get confused. But if you, if you go and, 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 and you mix it up, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, so if you just mix it up with, with some yeah. forwards as well, I'll see what I can do, but see if I'm going to now play as a normal innings. Yeah. Oh. oh. Very good. 
Yeah. So yeah. I'm looking to get on the front foot and play the ball. And if it's not there, your instincts get you into the best possible position. But if I'm going to wait, okay, I'm going to pull this, I'm going to pull this, I'm going to pull this. Immediately you get into positions before you should be in, time, in terms of opening yourself up. And I think you're premeditating a pull. It just gets into awkward positions. So you've got to be able to stay neutral in your mind. Watch the ball. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. what you've got to be in your mind telling yourself you're here to bat. So batting is about all the strokes, not just kind of hedging your bets one way. Of course, you saw Stokes at the back end when he knew it was going to be short. Right. It was always going to be short. That's when, if you can just throw one more. Hang on, let me get a couple of balls. Yes. Yeah, that's when he kind of set himself up. And you can see Mark would do the same because he was expecting a short ball. And he would go. Yeah. He would go here and try and hit sixes. So that's the only time where you see Stokes just opening himself up and waiting for it. And he's got the power and the strength to muscle that ball. I don't. So I would actually try to work the ball into gaps. If I do get it into a gap, that's four. If I ride it and I hit it for one, I'm off strike. If I defend it, they pitch it up, I've got other gaps. But the best way to play the short ball, in my view, is to be able to balance out, judging your length, leaving it well, getting under the ball. But when it's there to hit it, you hit it. Yeah. Because then the bowler knows that you pick up length well, you know when to leave, you have the courage and the patience to let it go. But if he misses his mark and is in your area for a pull, he's going to get taken down.